All right, here is an example to show you how to determine the limiting reactant. So the first step you need to do is uh, write a balanced chemical equation. So the reaction is between hydrogen and uh, oxygen. So you need to make sure your equation is balanced. So let's say that's H2 plus O2 gives H2O and balance it. So two moles of H2 time plus O2 gives two moles of H2O. So in the problem we have 20 grams of H2 and 96 grams of O2. So the first step that you need to do is to convert these grams to mole. So you have to divide the given grams by the molar mass. So the molar mass of H2 or the mass of one mole of H2 is 2.02 gram per mole and O2 molar mass is 32 gram per mole. You can actually plug in the precise values by using the data booklet. So when I divide the given grams by the molar mass I get um, here let's say that would be about 10 mole and this would be 3 mole. So now if you look at this balanced chemical equation the ratio between H2 and O2 that's not 1 to 1 so they're different. So to get a simple ratio the simple combining mole ratio between the two reactants, I divide the moles here by the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. So the coefficient of hydrogen in the balanced chemical equation is 2 and the coefficient of O2 in the balanced chemical equation is 1. So when I simplify this I get 5 mole of hydrogen gas and 3 moles of O2. So the one that is smaller in number or lesser in quantity that's called the limiting reactant. That means this is the reactant that will be consumed or used up first. So now the next step is to calculate the amount of excess reactant. So we know oxygen is limiting so obviously hydrogen should be excess. So now the question is how much of hydrogen is in excess? So let's say, let's again take the mole ratios of H2 and O2 from the equation. So that is, so we always calculate uh, the amount of excess with regards to the limiting reactant. So our limiting reactant is O2 and our excess reactant is H2. So that's limiting, this is excess. So the mole ratio is 1 to 2. So one mole of oxygen would require two moles of hydrogen to react completely. But in the actual problem, we have 96 grams of O2 gas, that is 3 moles of O2. So 3 moles of O2 would require how many moles of hydrogen gas to react completely. So that is an unknown quantity X. So let's, if you calculate for X by cross multiplying, so that would be 3 times 2 divided by 1 equals to X. So to react completely you would need 6 mole of hydrogen gas but in the actual problem we have 10 moles of hydrogen gas that is the actual amount that is given to us in the problem so if 6 moles of hydrogen gas is completely reacting so the amount of hydrogen gas that would be left behind or the amount of hydrogen gas that is in excess would be the given number of moles of hydrogen which is 10 mole minus the amount that reacted completely which is 6 mole so that would give us 4 mole of hydrogen so this is the amount of hydrogen that is in excess and of course you can convert this to excess in grams as well by multiplying the mass by the molar mass so let's say your mass is uh, molar mass of hydrogen gas is 2.02 grams so I can convert the moles of excess to grams that would be 8.48 grams of H2 is in excess so this is how you calculate the limiting and excess reactant so that's the end of this video